All right, folks, the deck is even lock. The goal of the deck is to draw a bunch of cards and put some big, beefy minions into play so that we can bash our opponent in the face with them. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Ruffle. Watch this! My elements are frightful. All eyes shall be open. Dark Alley Pact is a pretty good draw. We have uh, Mountain Giant as well. We have turned our curse into our strength. Hi, this is Ruffle. No, it's not. Ryan has caught me while I was playing Joker Poker. Please send reinforcements. I don't think any of that is true. Hi, Ruffle. Have you considered Baku the Moon Eater in this deck? Um, not until you said something. But I don't dislike the idea now. Right, we just slam Mountain Giant, Dark Alley Pact, Dirty Rat, I don't know. We just hurl green cards out into play until my hand gets tired of clicking the mouse. I kind of like the idea of this mountain giant connecting with the dome here. More bones to gnaw. So I think maybe instead we'll just coin this mountain giant. This one is more likely to die first. Donk! Tendies. Well met. How are the games today, Ruffle? Uh, well, we just lost our first game of the day, so... Horrible. But thank you, my cat wears pants. Well, this is interesting. None of these cards appear to be Battlegrounds Battlemaster. I mean, this always happens, right? This makes a bigger minion, but this is a harder minion to hit. Nice. To dump. We do one of these to prevent bounce effects. Nice, so we hit the end game. So if they clear, we go Dark Alley Pact. Rude. Brothers, Hodir summons us. What? Why? Sacrifice. Doesn't even do anything. What just happened? Why did it happen to me? When did it happen to me? What, a neophyte and a rat? Oh. There's a bit of antagonism between these two, unfortunately. Between a lot of the cards in the deck. Turns out. Shutterwalk get 12 8 eights. I mean, I guess. That's, that's certainly a play. Well met. Hancock, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that.
Wait, Borg. Another one. Actually, I could have played this if my order was better. In a variety of ways. <laughs> like, I just tapping last was kind of punishing there. That said, it probably was not a good idea to overextend here anyway. Because I'm already very nearly at full extension. <laughs> Poor guy just wanted to get, saw the board state and just wanted to get out. <laughs> I roll, Pog. Paladin. Um, even Paladin has been growing in prominence. Endgame is good, but uh, it wants to come after the Dark Alley Pact a lot of the time. Table Flip is likely to be very good into Paladin, though. We have turned our curse into our strength. Draw. Is this wild? Uh, no, this is Patrick. I feed. Let's just go ahead and clear that. It was maybe a mistake not to, uh, to clear it last turn. Muscle Man. I feel like going to 10 cards is probably what gives me the most flexibility for the following turn. Should have put this on the left hand side. Access denied. Actually, maybe that's not even true. Why are their plays so annoying? <laughs> and why why have they done this to me? Giant's even good anymore. An 8 8 on turn 4 seems underwhelming. Twist this, tighten that, and bolt over there. 
One of the most recent balance changes that was, ne was necessary in part because every single one of the uh, the playable decks in Wild was uh, running Giants. Might have to keep it a file just for Shadow Priest, and in hindsight, like, if we're assuming... No, because we dump cards if it's Shadow Priest, right? Because we have to just, like, desperately clear their stuff. We have turned our curse into our strength. To be fair, one 8-8 eight eight versus a board of 8-8s eight are different. True. Like, a board of 8-8s eight is this deck's game plan. This is an unfortunate matchup for this deck, though. Because they just, like, clear our stuff. And then we have no stuff. And I complain. Cat laughs. There's simply nothing I can do. I mean, I'll take five to face still. Really need to set up a battle master turn. Hand is too full. I mean, this always goes face. I think this is probably going face as well. It's a question of what goes alongside it. I think it's just a uh, green soul dark bomb. Those are my cards. Where'd my end game go? There it is. I just need these to stick for next turn. I've got plenty of mojo to go. That doesn't get to attack now? Oh my god. Is opponent cooking over there? This is a pretty typical Reno Priest list. Aside from the Camellio and Crystalline Oracle, I guess. Aside from the atypical parts, it's pretty typical. Or mana. It's unlike, I mean, they get this, but then they die. You have been. Okay. <laughs> Darkness does what now? Jeez. Look at how happy this guy is. He's just got his well-deserved bag of treasures. Someone get darkness out of that buffalo wild wings walk in freezer right now.
I mean, given my limited experience at Buffalo Wild Wings, it's not like it can make the food any worse. I say that as somebody who loves hot wings, too. Just not from Buffalo Wild Wings. Thank you for the bits, Colin. Rip the, uh, the B-dub sponsorship. I would have had to turn it down on principle anyway. Here, tap into Ganol. It'd be pretty cool if I were capable of drawing Battlegrounds Battlemaster at a singular time. How many restaurants are we holding lifelong vendettas against now? Does that make it five? Probably pretty close, yeah. Never really struck me as the kind of guy that would eat a lot of chicken wings. That just goes to show how little chat actually knows about me. We tap into Sun Fury. Sun Fury here for the healthy minions, and one of them being a demon that we can end game. Stay frosty. Like, I guess I can Dirty Rat in search of a Helia, but, like, I don't think that matters. Maybe it would be a patchwork. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. That's not a bad hit. Minion placement <laughs> leaves a little bit to be desired here. You look tasty. Strike. Bonk. Okay, I'm listening. Say something. Uh, keep the Defile, keep the Null. Probably pitch the Dark Bomb and Neophyte. Table Flip is good, too. I guess it depends on the matchup. We have turned our curse into our strength. I don't like the fact that it's Renathal. There's this weird, like, contrast where some members of chat, um, like, presume my motivations and, like, internal thoughts when they aren't there. And then other members of chat, I can directly state <laughs> my rationale and reasoning for something. And then they'll ask why. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I don't understand. It's a good opener for the deck. Next turn we can just plop down a giant. Uh, that's big. I think I have to give up the coin here. Which I don't feel good about 
because like now my hand size is a little small. The queen's trove is forbidden. You know the rules, chat. No killing the Cho. Wait, you killed the Cho? Disappointed. You have nine cards, right? Yeah. The attack order. Shields up. Or rather, the death order. Wait, it's suddenly raining really hard here. Time for the finishing. Oh my god! Finally! <laughs> finally! It took an hour and ten minutes, but we finally got the play that this deck is completely centered around and is meant to draw consistently. <laughs> Why was that so hard? I must protect the wild. Let's keep a null. We have turned our curse into our strength. Let's try and work our way towards the null quickly. Maybe get distracted by Dirty Red along the way, I don't know. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. I don't want to, uh, like, give up the card in hand that could get us to the another one or a null faster. Now, there are two mistakes there. The first one was not playing the Null first. The second one was uh, hitting the Yogg with the Dirty Rat. I feel the most bad about the second part. Yeah, this time, this time I will agree with you on the fun police, but Aviana, <laughs> OG Aviana at least, does not, would not qualify. That is a, a toxic combo disrupted the first time. Oh my god, dodged? Uh, this should probably be somewhere over here, probably in between these two. But it doesn't matter because I never draw the Battlemaster anyway. Develop one minion here, but hold the other two back. I've been renoed far too many times today.
this is correct placement for a change, but again, it doesn't matter because I don't draw the Battlemaster. That's kind of drum. Surely, surely this will save us. Oh god. Hey, there's the Battlemaster. Placed in the best spot for me. Okay. At least we know she does exist. Alright, for the sake of my sanity, I think I have to call it there with this deck. 